All right, I am finally going to do my final video of my updates, upgrades, and decorations to our 30 RKD. Okay, we're going to start in the kitchen. So, kitchen, I think I said that wrong. Anyway, I put some pill and stick backsplash up. Uh, I just put it on the side because I did not want to interfere with how I have my command strips up that I'm using uh, for our bags that I put our snacks and chips and things in. Uh, I actually had a couple extra pieces left, so I put it over the microwave just to add a little additional accent. That wasn't the original plan. And moving on around, I have my little garden that I keep in the camper. I don't use this little area here for spices, but my husband likes to purchase shot glasses at the different campgrounds. So I am going to take those and put them in there. I'm going to put some quake hole on the bottom of it and have it to sit there. These are just some really, really cheap <laughs> decorations that I got to put in here. As most of you guys uh, may know that with the camper, you can change it up as often as you want. So you don't want to spend a lot of money on your decorations because you can change it up. And I'll probably change it for the fall and winter. Uh, speaking of the quake hole, I have it here where this doesn't move and go anywhere. I have it there. It's a little wobbly, but it doesn't really go anywhere as well. The one thing uh, that I changed out, I took these inserts that they had in here and I bought these little uh, sink covers here. I had to get two of them and I think I cut like three of the wrongs out of each one in order for them to fit perfectly to be half and half. I put my paper towel holder in the opposite direction because I had it up here and it wouldn't hold and I didn't want to put any screws through there. So I just put it there so it wouldn't be that much pressure on it. Just some little pictures that I got to decorate with. Uh, some more of my little inexpensive decorations up there. I didn't put the carpets out because I just opened the slides out just to come out here and do a little cleaning and to do this video. But what I need Instead of having three carpets in here where there's one in front of the sink and one to cover each of these vents so stuff won't drop in it, I'm trying to find one that is 12 feet long and no more than like two, maybe three feet wide that I could run down the center of the camper because I just don't like having all those extra carpets over there. Uh... I'm going to do another video of all my little additions and modifications and stuff uh, and my storage and all of that. I uh, think that's all I want to do in here. And then here is the bathroom. thought I cut the light on. I uh, did the same thing with some inexpensive decorations and my hand towels. I took a... Uh, another paper towel holder and put it in here so I can always keep three rolls of tissue uh, in here. Uh, I think that's it. I am not opening the bed slide because there's another one of our vehicles parked in the driveway that I can't open this out without hitting my vehicle but this is the bedroom. The bed looked kind of messy because that's where the television lay and I have to throw stuff up on the bed when uh, we're in transit. But I took some panels. Actually, I got one panel. It was really cheap. And I had a discount at this store that I went to. And I ended up getting it for free because I had enough points to get it for free. So I took it, cut it, used the little uh, stitcher, witchery stitchery or stitchery witchery, however you say it, and ironed it to make the, uh, instead of sewing. And I just took some rods and put them up there and I'll go in detail what I did with that. Uh, when I do my little modification video and some more little decorations in here, that is about it for my decorations. And Oh, here's my information station. And I have to use my, uh, my little, uh, 
Cricut Joy to make me another label up there because that looks kind of cheesy. But anyway, when we go to a campsite, I put all the information, uh, like the campsite map, anything that they're going to be doing that weekend. If they give us a list of coupons, uh, just all the useful information. The useful information. I made this little board for our little checklist for departure and arrival and of course I kept forgetting things and had to come back and do a write-in. I got this cheap to-do list at Dollar Tree. I actually bought three of them just in case this one tear up and I can't get another one. And these are all the things that my to-do later, all the upgrades that we're wanting to do and do it now is usually when we're out and we run out of something and I need to fill it up or fix something before we go back out again so that's it uh i've kind of tricked out my door with the exception of this crazy thing here i don't know why they sent such a short screw with this but i've been catching he double hockey stick with this thing trying to get it right because the screw is too short but i have a wood screw that i'm gonna put in there and put some e6000 on it but my problem now is just trying to get this freaking screw out of here so once i get that screw out i'll have my little uh screen assist that helps open the door i have my rv bug stop on here and now i just want my little slingshot to work right and that is it for my cougar 30 rkd interior updates and upgrades